Hey YouTube, I'm Vaxel95, and I have finally finished my bug out bag. So, due to the size of it, I'm picking apart piece by piece. So we're starting with the black bag, because there's not, it's the Gorilla Packs, I did a review on that earlier in my YouTube-ness, um, before I actually had this many subscribers, so. To start with, the Gorilla Pack is a good backpack, it just, you need bags to organize stuff, because there's not as many pockets, just one big opening. There are some pockets. First thing, first, I'll get them all out at once. Get these out. Okay. So, right here we have survival tabs. Got some date treks drinking water. Purified drinking water. In addition to that, here's part of it. I got my Sawyer squeeze filter. Along with more drinking water. Once again, some more. <laughs> and here it is, the Sawyer squeeze filter. Water is, you know, so got my uh, filter thing. I got some Coleman's uh, purification tabs. So I have another backup source of purifying water. Then I, uh, unfortunately, I had lost the uh, actual fil the uh, Sawyer Squeeze bottle, which I did a review on that too. So I just have the filter from that, which I could probably make use of. So I got another filter. Now, Cliff Bars. Personally, I like Cliff Bars. And chocolate chip was one of my favorite flavors. So I bought a pack of six for only, I think it was something around the... Uh, ballpark of like five bucks. Cliff bars. Now, originally I was gonna buy myself a big thing of Slim Jims just to eat. So I split it half. I split half the box and put these sticks of Slim Jim for protein into my uh, bag. I have a bunch on the bottom here. Plus, you know, I do want to go hiking sometime with MP, so I guess, you know, having protein and, you know, all that kind of stuff is good, too. So I got this, and more Cliff Bars, just making sure I don't miss anything. And I have another thing of purification tabs. I have the other bottle over there. So, as far as food and water and purification and that kind of stuff goes, I'll be good for a while. You know, <clears throat> this is not going to be like a, oh, an all one day thing. I want to try to, you know, have a backup food source um, in case something happens. In addition to that, I also have my e-foods. My e in my closet, which I am ordering more because, uh, number one, eFoods is very good. I, I personally think they're the best tasting out of the ones I've tried. I mean, I didn't mind the Y's. The Y's were okay. But I like the eFoods. It's the closest thing to, like, I don't know where I was going with that, but they taste good, in other words. And they're affordable. So... That's what I got for the food supplies. People are probably thinking, oh, leave it the back so to have a whole entire um, small caravan filled with different foods. Trust me, in a survival situation, I wouldn't be able to eat as much as I'm eating now because that would just screw me over in the long run. Now, on for first aid supplies. I have a pretty much near full thing of first aid. I used to use this at work. 
but people were taking stuff out of my uh, first aid kit and using it, so I brought it home with me. And I have my big case of first aid stuff. I'll go over what's all in that um, later on in the video. I got my tarp. <clears throat> I believe I could probably make, um, I'd like to learn how to make a uh, do collector with one of these. So that's one thing I'm going to try to learn. There's a, still a lot of stuff I need to learn about survival and all that kind of stuff, but you know, that will all come in due time. This green bag is pretty much my cooking bag. Oh, I got my uh, my Stanley Adventure uh, cook cup along with this one. The, the lid. So, I have a fire starter, but I also have a Gerber Moment knife along with a ferro rod to have an alternate source of starting fires. <clears throat> Got my uh, Sterno cook stove. Sterno cooking, cooking fuel. As you can see, I had used this one, but when we went on our adventure last time, an unused thing of Sterno. Matches and striker. Um, <clears throat> toilet paper and my uh, brute tasting fork that I made the Massachusetts pepper use. The brute tasting fork. If you watched his video, you would have uh, seen his reaction. I didn't know it tasted like a uh, brute perfume. You know, for a while I was like uh, debating. Um, you know, I'm like, oh, I could take a little bit longer making this. I thought to myself, you know. Just for, for my own peace of mind, even if something doesn't happen, I want to feel like, you know, if something happens, I'm prepared and I'm going to be okay. Or be better off, rather. So, that's why I hurried up the process and actually got this thing done. I had my bonus, and I used that. Oh, not to mention I also have my, uh normal book of matches.